What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick unboxing and first look at my Beats Solo 3 wireless. Now these were released by Apple at the iPhone event. They were sort of made more of a low-key announcement they announced online. You guys can see I got the glossy black colorway here. Now something very significant about these headphones is that they are the first pair of headphones to release with Apple's new W1 wireless chip. And of course, those are coming to the AirPods a little bit later this year, but this is the first set they actually released, and so it makes it significant to take a look and see what kind of improvements we get. I'll talk a little bit about that as we go along. Now, if you notice some of the features here on the back, you can see we've got wireless Bluetooth. They don't actually mention the W1 chip anywhere here in the packaging, which is a little bit strange, but you know, I guess they figure the consumer, the average consumer doesn't know much about what that means. What you do see here is a huge jump from the previous Beats Solo 2s. You've got 40 hours of wireless play for your battery life. That's huge. That's up about 28 hours from the previous generation, which had 12 hours of playback. Fast fuel, five minutes of charge gets you three hours of play. The battery fuel gauge, that's been there before. Built-in wireless mic, and of course the control talk feature, which has also been there before. Now one thing you'll notice here, you see the control talk cable. That is a micro USB for charging, so there is no lightning for the charging. Also, you don't get any sort of lightning adapter in here as far as I'm aware to work with the new uh, iPhones. You get that iPhone, uh, the 3.5 millimeter to lightning adapter inside your iPhone box. So you'll still be able to use those with this, um, use these headphones with that particular phone as long as you have the adapter from your box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, talk a little bit about a few more of the features. I'll give you guys a quick comparison to the previous generation, which I also own. Uh, and so the previous generation, I bought it, actually did an unboxing here on the channel. Uh, it was one of the first unboxings I ever did on the channel, the gray, space gray uh, version of the Beat Solo 2. And I really like those headphones, mainly because they're very, very comfortable when I'm listening to them in my office. I can wear them for a long period of time. Now again, I already know a lot of people are going to comment on this video saying, you know, Beats doesn't have the best sound, etc. I'm completely aware Beats is mainly sort of heavy on the bass. They've gotten better, but they're not for a serious, true sort of audiophile experience. I've got Audio Technica, Sennheisers out there. And so, you know, I'm listening to these mainly for my hip hop, my rap. I'm a huge rap fan. And so I like the sound, you know, and I also like the style. Beats are all about the style and about that sort of hip hop sound if you're that kind of person and you enjoy that type of music. So I give you guys a quick look at the box. Let me go ahead and take the sleeve off. We'll take a look at what we get inside here. So as usual, typical Beats packaging, you take that off, you got that right there. Change the way you hear sound. Go ahead, I got a little pull tab here at the bottom. Go ahead and push that to the side. You can see you've got the actual headphones and I think everything else is in here as well. As you guys can see right here in the bottom, we've got our instructions, information, warranty information in here. Let's just have a quick look and see if there's anything too interesting. I always end up tearing that piece because I don't get the plastic first. Beat Solo 3 Wireless, you've got a little bit of help guide, you've got a Beat sticker. As Flossie Carter always says, you control somebody. If they don't like Beats, you can go stick that on their car. You've got important safety information, your warranty guide, Apple one year warranty. So you want to put that to the side so you have that information. And then here we have, as usual, you got the clip right there, carabiner clip. Clip that to your backpack, whatever you want. It goes right here on the case. So you just clip this on here and then you can clip that to your backpack, whatever you want to do. You can see here we've got charging cable as expected. As I mentioned, this is micro USB, not lightning or anything like that. We do have the control talk cable as well as you guys can see right here. This is just a standard control talk cable. No lightning or connector or adapter or anything like that. So if you want to listen to these wireless, uh, you can, of course, that's the main feature. But if you run out of battery or something, you can plug them in. You can also take a call, use it for a podcast, whatever you want to do. So here's the main attraction. Let me go ahead and throw the box to the side as well. When I do these videos, I always have lots of trash to pick up on the floor afterwards because I sort of throw things everywhere. Um, all right, so... You've got a case here, pretty nice. It doesn't open all the way, which is kind of a complaint. I don't like that. The previous one opened all the way, so right off the bat, not sure I necessarily like that. Let's look at the case itself first. The case has got a pretty nice little compartment in here. So this little piece here pulls back and you can put your control talk cable, charging cable in there if you want. It's got a nice soft internal part there, so it's not gonna scratch your headphones. I got the glossy black one, so that's a little bit of a concern for me. Uh, as you guys can see right here, You've got your actual headphones. Now these are the glossy black. I got those to match 
my jet black iPhone 7 Plus when that finally comes in. You can see right here it says charge me up for wireless mode. We're going to see if we have any charge, so maybe I can give you guys some listening impressions first. Over here it also says wireless controls for wireless mode. So of course you've got your volume controls right there and also your Bluetooth pairing button right here on this side just like the previous generation. Of course you got the go ahead the outlet right there, 3.5 millimeters in. Put your control talk cable if you want to use these in wired mode. And then on the other side you also have your micro USB charging port right there as well as you got your little fuel gauge and the actual power button right there as well. Now these glossy black ones they're probably going to get you know fingerprinty. We'll see how that goes. I'll, I'm probably going to do a full review on these after the unboxing so I give you guys some impressions. Again I mainly got this to match my jet black iPhone. I think they do look really nice. So here's a comparison really quick to my previous ones. These are the space gray ones that I unboxed before. They're very much the same exact style in terms of the overall build. It'd be pretty hard to tell them apart if you didn't know that this was the new generation right here. It's kind of hard to see any major differences. You still got the fuel gauge. You've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in the same spot. You've got wireless text there. On the other side, you've got the solo text right there. You guys can see that in gray on the glossy one. So you've got the same exact sort of build, the same exact sort of setup, the fuel gauge. It's all the internal stuff that makes it different. Uh, on the new generation. You guys can see my little ear pads coming loose on this one so I'm going to have to glue it back on there. That is something to watch out with these headphones. I've noticed that on the Beats in the past as well. So the leather cushion seems pretty, uh, pretty nice and uh, padded but one thing I will say is the plastic is kind of um, it feels kind of light, maybe kind of cheap for a $300 pair of headphones. I love to see Beats do more metal on their headphones because it does feel like you could break these if you use them really aggressively in the gym or something like that in addition to the ear cups coming off. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to pair this up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these on really quickly and then I'm going to pair those up with the iPhone. So I've got my iPhone 7 right here to show you guys the new pairing process that you have with the Beats. So as you can see right here, just press the button. It automatically recognizes I've got the Beats Solo 3. Hit the connect button. It's going to just connect and there we go. We're already set. We've got a fuel gauge there on the iPhone as well and you can see right there it says 100%. So that's really nice. This is one of the features of the new W1 chip. You can pair this up super, super quickly. It's not going to be as slow as the old Bluetooth. This also is going to sync across your iCloud devices, which means that you'll be able to pair this up one time on your iPhone. Then you can use it on your Mac, you can use it on your iMac, my laptop, my iPad. I've got a ton of Apple devices, so that's going to be really, really sweet for me to be able to pair this up one time and then never have to worry about pairing it again, which you always have to worry about with the traditional Bluetooth. So that's one of the features of the new W1 chip. Of course, the other feature is that you get this extra 40 hours of uh, total playback time instead of 12. That gives you that new high efficiency. And then, of course, something that's independent of the new chip, we've got the new fast fuel where you can charge it up. You get, uh, it says, three hours of playback for only five minutes of charge. That's very, very impressive overall for these new beats. So I want to show you guys the new pairing process. Uh, the fact that this is going to allow you to sync across your devices. I will test this with some Android devices as well. Of course, you're not going to get the same effective, you know, pairing across all of your devices like you will with your Apple devices because of the new W1 chip being proprietary Apple technology. It'd be great to see them open up the W1 chip and sort of bring that to more and more devices. All right, so I will do a separate video on the sound quality. Obviously, I need to listen to them for a while. Uh, I have heard from others that they sound pretty similar to the Solo 2s. And also test the durability, see how many sort of fingerprints I get on the sides of these Solo 3s. And of course also the Bluetooth range, battery life, etc. So if you guys have any other questions, you want to know something about these particular headphones, hit me up in the comments below. Let me, get, let me know what you guys think about the headphones, also the new uh, Apple W1 wireless chip. You can find me at DopeTechDaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy my content so I can make future videos like this. I appreciate you guys checking out this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.